Let's talk about where the trade story fits in to a company like Macy's. Uh, it certainly does hurt them. However, there's been a lot of movement towards uh, apparel manufacturing in, in other Southeast Asian countries outside of China. Uh, so we've seen a lot of uh, uh, manufacturing in Vietnam and Cambodia in recent years. And so I think that does reduce the risk to Macy's and other apparel retailers. How does it work, David, for some of these retailers? Do they get straight on the phone to the suppliers and renegotiate the deals? How long does that take to work out? Well, that could take a very long time. Uh, that's, that's not something that will happen uh, easily. Um, obviously, nobody wants to give up margin. And uh, at, at this point, it's unknown how long the tariffs will last if they're implemented, um, as we expect. So um, it, it'd be very difficult to go to a supplier and say, we need um, a, a price cut or some sort of concession uh, when there's no way of knowing how long the tariffs will even stand. So David, let's talk about how they manage costs and what your base case is for the margin. Potentially higher import costs. I put the emphasis on potentially, depends how they manage it. And potentially higher input costs at home as well, with the labor market looking as tight as it currently looks. How do they manage the margin? Uh, well, uh, I think they're uh, with Macy specifically, I think their expenses uh, did come in a little bit higher in the quarter than, than we expected. Um, so it, it is a difficult uh, task. Uh, they are um, cutting costs where they can. Uh, they have um, reduced inventory in stores. Um, they've reduced uh, headcount, I'm sure, in some places. Um, they've reduced marketing, perhaps, in some areas. I mean, there are some expenses that are variable, which can be uh, reduced to make up for the increase in uh, raw material cost.